Hi Sagittarius, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot and I am here to do your reading for September 1st through the 10th. Now typically my readings are love readings, we will see whatever comes up. This is for Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. I'm going to take those, obviously it was too many. So I've decided to change it up a little bit. I'm going to get three of these and I'm going to clarify them at the end with these. So, nope, there's two. Ooh, free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Now, free yourself can be free yourself from many situations, okay? It could be drugs, could be addictions, could be a relationship, could be a job, anything that holds you back. Passion, allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. Wonderful. Now, this reading may not be for you because I can't connect with every single person and the timing is fluid on every single word that comes out of my mouth. Oh, we're going to take that one. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. Beautiful. Beautiful. What does Sagittarius need to know for this first 10 days of September? I don't know why, but I think that I need to mix things up a little bit better. Never do this, so that was just for you. Um, need a different approach. You need a different approach. Mm. Yeah, it is time to take back control of your life. This card and this card are virtually kind of the same kind of thing. I mean, they're different energies, but you are the boss. You have the power to take control. You have to protect yourself. You have to dominate this situation. You are the denominator here. It's about finding that focus and that concentration to bring structure back to your life. It's where you take the lead. You may be in denial. You may be in denial. You may feel like you don't have the ambition. You may feel like you lack the passion. You may lack the confidence to take the lead. You have to find the courage and the strength and the force within you to take back control of your life. If you're lacking ambition, you're lacking drive, you're lacking discipline, you need to do whatever it takes to pull that out of you. You are at a crossroads and you have an opportunity to go down a new path. The opportunity is looking at you, but you have to be the boss. You have a choice. You have a choice. Your choice is you take the lead or you don't. You be strong or you don't. It's your choice. There's an opportunity for something that, there's a new opportunity for something that could make you very happy. That, you know, could fulfill your life more than it's been fulfilled in the past. You've been through a, a period of discontentment and boredom. But now, if you go through the new door, if you find the strength to do so, you will be more content that you, than you have been in a long time. There will be no more boredom if you take the lead. If you go through the new new go through the doors, go down that new path. You're probably feeling restless 
because you know that it, you need to take a new approach. Yeah, it's going to take hard work and dedication. Even when you don't feel like getting out of bed in the morning. Even when you don't feel like doing it. You're going to have to do it anyway. You have to step outside of your comfort zone. You have to remove the obstacles that are holding you back. They're mental obstacles. That's all they are. Lack of self-confidence, lack of self-worth, lack of self-esteem. I and mean, that's what this card is. And that's what's holding you back. Hard work and dedication pays off. Ungrounded, not being practical. You may be stubbornly holding on to something that you once knew, that you've known. And this is definitely the case for you guys. I know that it is. It's not like I don't do this every week. Okay. You guys have been stubbornly holding on to something that used to be stable and secure. But it has caused you so much boredom and so much discontent that it's not serving you. You've been given a new opportunity. You have to make a choice to move forward or stay stuck. It's at the end of sorrow if you go through that new door. If you put in effort, if you put in dedication, if you take the lead... You, your, your, the grief that you've been going through will start to fade. And perhaps you need to forgive yourself. This is a card of forgiveness right under you, man or woman. We all make mistakes in life. Sometimes we let our thoughts get in the way. Everybody, not just you, everybody goes through ups and downs. But you have the power right now to take the lead. And to release this sorrow. Release this hurt. To make a conscious change. To release the baggage. Release the burdens. That have kept you stuck for so long. This heavy weight. Something's been weighing you down. It looks like you guys are... Either needing to or you actually are throwing away some of those burdens. Making conscious changes for the better. Letting go of, you know, even regrets. You may be emotional at this time. You may be, there may be some, you know, ups and downs. You may feel like you're a victim at times. You may feel like, yeah, you know, one minute you're crying hysterically and the next minute you're cold as hell, okay? Sometimes you may be angry, but deep down it's just because you're hurting, right? It's hurt. It's hurt that is making this happen. You know, when you're releasing something that is this heavy, you you will definitely be ungrounded. You will definitely be, be in your feelings. Because releasing toxin, toxins isn't easy. It's not easy. But you are being called to free yourself from whatever it is that is so heavily weighing you down Even if it hurts. Because in the end, the hurt will dissipate and you will receive something better that is more emotionally supportive to you. So during this week, you may be a little ungrounded. You may be emotional, up and down. Um, let me just make sure that this is in the, the focus in what I'm going to call it. Um, whatever's happening, though, Healing is happening with that Three of Swords reverse. Healing is happening. But with healing, you have to step outside of your comfort zone, okay? That's part of it, facing fear. And fear, you know, this, this Queen of Wands, she represents Aries Leo Sagittarius. So one of her traits is strength, and strength is, you know, reversed as fear. So fear is an issue here. Fear of stepping outside of your comfort zone. And when you let fear... Uh, drive, take control, it's because you don't have enough confidence to face your fears. 
You may not put in effort at times. You might not put in effort to face your fears, but if you take the time to really work on facing your fears, you will take the lead. So I feel like right now there's a lack of ambition again. A lack of appreciation for oneself and the lessons that you have learned along the way. You know, all the suffering that you have been through, this is suffering, the Three of Swords, has brought in you true growth. Do you even realize that? How much stronger you really are because of this suffering. You need to look at things from a new perspective, like I was just saying. Do you even realize what that suffering did for you? Do you? New perspective. You also need to be assertive for yourself. You know, you, you could have some gossip going on around you when you see three queens in close proximity. It could be gossip, okay? It could be. It could be gossip, could be friends, could be family, could be anybody. But there could be some gossip. And maybe you just need to release these people from your life that are not serving you. They're bringing you down. Actually, we got four queens because I just saw this one. But this one's you. You know, you got four queens here. You may have some competition, okay? You may have some competition, you know, whether you're a man or a woman. You know, people may be trying to bring you down. People could be jealous of you. Well, this is jealousy. So just keep that in mind. Some people are jealous of another person's light. And that is a sad situation. But it's the truth. Don't let their jealousy keep you down. You need to take action. Act now, think later. Don't let anybody get in your way. Nobody. Nobody. Rapid forward movement is needed. It's happening anyway. You guys have been holding on to a dead end situation and it's getting old. And it's time for a new beginning. It's time for a fresh start. It's time for you to start over from ground zero. It's time for you to fly. It's time for you to prove to these. Well, I was going to say bitches. Who you are. You may be unaware that what is happening is part of your spiritual journey. But you are being called to have faith in the journey and allow this fresh start to happen. Don't fight it, please. <laughs> Don't fight it, please, please. Anyhow, um, you need to defend yourself. And I know I said I just said don't fight it. Don't fight the new journey. Defend yourself from these people. Put yourself back on top having a hard time not swearing put yourself back on top these people don't want you to succeed and that is a sad story and that's what gives you true strength I'm not kidding when you can succeed in the face of adversity you are the boss you're on top they're after you. Do not let them win. Rapid, fast movement is needed, like I said. I feel as though, you know, this could be communication coming in. This could be releasing a blockage. Seeing the light, being enlightened, I mean... Right now, 
you are being divinely guided to do this right now, to move forward, to get your ass in gear now. There's an opportunity for a fresh new start, a do-over, without the baggage. The Ten of Wands reversed, and the Fool, the Fool only brings very little with him. He's like, he's cutting shit out, like, he's not bringing it, the shit with him. He's bringing some experiences with him, but he's not bringing what doesn't serve him. He don't have a lot of luggage. He's not bringing a bunch of shit. And this is getting rid of the luggage, getting rid of the drama, getting rid of these people that are jealous of you and don't support you. If they don't support you, they ain't meant to be in your life. And it's time to stop sacrificing yourself. It's time to stop stalling. It, you know, when I see the fool, a fool, when I see the Hierophant, I mean, son of a bitch, the hangman reversed, it reminds me of the fool upright. It does. It just always, I just, I don't know why. Automatically, when I see it reversed, it's like, you need to take a risk. You need to have faith. And, and if you think about the Hierophant, the Hierophant is faith. And this is a card of faith. And this is a card of faith. It's acting on faith. Believe in yourself. The Hierophant, believe in yourself. I don't need the card. Say it. I don't need to see the card. The word came out of my mouth for a reason. You need to believe in yourself. You need to follow your own path. You are an old soul. You need to stop blocking the blessings, blessings from coming in. And you need to listen to your inner guide. You need to set clear intentions. You need to perhaps really, 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 really listen Listen to what your soul is telling you to do. It's not about sacrificing yourself for another person. It's about doing what's right for you. Maybe maybe it's time to deepen your practice, okay? Deepen your practice of your soul, whatever your soul is going through. You are an old soul. We already know that. Uh, most Sagittarius are, um, as far as I'm concerned. Anyway, um... There's an opportunity for a fresh new start here, Sagittarius. Is it in love? Uh, probably not. And it might not be in the love arena. <laughs> you know, I asked the question and here we go. I was, I, mean, I said ah before I even pulled this card. So I'm not sure. This could be the rods of love. But this is something you're not compatible with. So I'm not sure if you're ready for love. I'm just telling you what I see. Some of you don't want to hear this, and that's fine. Somebody's in denial, whatever, whatever. You have to be at a spot of confidence, high confidence, high self-esteem, high self-worth for any relationship to work. If you have to defend yourself and your guard is up, then a relationship probably won't work. So, and this is independent. So I'm, I'm thinking that this might be a time of independence while you are clearing away some baggage, some toxins. That's what I see. This is a complex decision. You have choices. You have options. You probably have options in love. You may not even know it. But you do have options. But you're not, you're, you're not really... You know, you're probably thinking about your options. It's the seven to the eight. It's like you're probably thinking, do I want this or not? Do I want a relationship or do I not want? Do I have time for a relationship? Is this the person I want or do I not want this person? You're thinking about it. And this is saying when you get the eight of cups re reversed, take more time. Take more time to think about it. Do you even have time for a relationship right now while you are going through all this releasing? Right now you're working on your growth, you're working on your happiness, you're working on your, your own fertility, you know, you're working on yourself, revival, renewal. You're working on bringing happiness back to yourself, health. You're working on that, you're working on your health. By next summer, I don't know where this is coming from. You might be ready for that partnership. The real one. I don't know. Maybe it's right now. We're going to clarify these cards now. 
free yourself. Passion. This could be the one. Free yourself. It's time to take back control of your life. Free yourself. Yes, it is. You know, you guys may be in a partnership that is, if it, this is a love situation, that is no longer compatible. Because see where that card landed. Some of you are in a relationship that isn't compatible. It's not harmonious. It's not where you want to be. And you have to take the lead. Could be with an Aries. Could be with, we have all the signs here. You have Pisces right here. That you guys have been sacrificing yourself with a situ for a situation. But you guys need to free yourself from some sort of partnership that is not working. Period. But we're going to clarify that. Um, yeah. Free yourself. <laughs> that's what this is. Okay. This is this. That's, that is what this is. It's restoring control. Okay. This is crazy shit. Restoring control. Restoring control. Restoring control. So it's taking back control. Of something that was toxic. It's taking back your power. The time is now. Right now. You guys have been in a situation that was not, was a lie. There may have been some passion. You may have had passion for it. But there was some sort of dishonesty here. You may have been treated unfairly. The person that you were dealing with may have uh, had some addictions or some legal issues. Could have put you in a third party situation. This is also a celebration, though, as well. This could be a reunion, but this right here is uh, not good. The justice reversed. There's a dishonest situation here. Somebody doesn't want to be held accountable for their actions. And with this, you know, I wonder if there's been some cheating or who knows. Yeah, you've invested in something. You have invested a lot of time and effort. And you've been treated, and I was going to say treated, but cheated came out. So I, I'm not sure if you've been cheated. Maybe you've been cheated by a partner. It doesn't have to be a sexual partner. It could be a business partnership. It's like you've been cheated. You've invested a lot of time and money and energy into something that you were passionate about, but it may have led to a third-party situation. <laughs> That's no, that's too bad. Yeah, and it's like it's time to accept the truth of this situation and take stop blocking the truth. There's definitely, yeah, there was some passion and it was probably not in a good way. I mean, it was at first, obviously, but there's some resentment. Okay, there's some hurt. There's some blocking of the truth here. Where whereas the truth is. The truth hurts. You know, um, you've invested some time and energy into something that was a lie. I'm sorry. This could be the one. You've already met the romantic partner you seek. There's, there's something going on behind the scenes. There's a hidden force here, so... There's something, there's, there's a, you may be confused. You may think that you know the one. Clinging to the past. This person is clinging to the past. What the hell is this? This could be the one. Somebody is thinking that somebody from the past is the one. Oh, son of a bitch. Clinging to the memories, thinking that this person is the one. Oh my God, but it's not. There's no, there's no stability in that. And this is a test. It absolutely is. It you're not. You, you think this is an illusion. It's confusion. You think that the wrong one is the right one, and that is, and it's not. You have another opportunity. I just have to. I mean, that's what this is. So don't get your. Don't think that the one that you think is the one is the one because that is not the one. The one is somebody else, and that's exactly what this is. So don't. I mean, that's what this is. You don't have to believe me. And if you want to be in denial, then whatever. That's your choice. Whatever. Anyway, but there is an illusion here that you think you know the one. And you think it's somebody that you've been with before. But that's not stable. It's not secure. Those are just memories. It's an illusion. It's a lie with the moon card. 
and this is lies too. So, you know, you have to free yourself. You have to take back control of yourself. You have to take back control of your life and not lie to yourself. If you lie to yourself, you're doomed. You're doomed. You're not treating yourself justifiably, you know. And you'll get bad karma for lying to yourself. This is an injustice to not accept the truth. To keep investing in something that is a lie. I'm sorry. Sagittarius. Oh, love it. Transformation. Many, many, many people are getting this card. And this is absolutely meant for you. There's no doubt. A fresh new way of living emerges. I'm going to read, read the card, but we already know what that is. It's death and rebirth. You are in a time of huge transformation. Old beliefs, ideas, and decisions about who you are and what you deserve in life are dropping away. Replaced by incredible vitality in new pathways. Soon, you'll be experiencing the world in a fresh new way. The journey transforms the traveler. When the traveler arrives at the destination, the traveler no, is no longer the same person who started out. Even if there are some areas that may be murky or unsettled in your life, don't be concerned. This is the confusion that appears before the rebirth like the phoenix that arises majestically from the ashes, a big change in your life is at hand. Don't hold on to old ways of viewing the world and limited ways of thinking. Be willing to see the world with fresh new eyes. Remember I said new perspective? Changes are afoot and it's all so very good. And right at the beginning as I was shuffling, I said new approach. Release what doesn't serve you. If people in your circle are not supporting you, they shouldn't be in your circle because all it does is weigh you down. You are going through a major transformation right now. You're going to have to let go and let God. The time is now. Talk to you next time.